Madagascar is home to some of the most interesting creatures on Earth, a vast variety of mammals, reptiles, amphibians, and bird species exclusive to the island can be found. However, millions of years ago, Madagascar was a realm of pure nightmare fuel during the Cretaceous period. In this distant past, towering dinosaurs roamed the lush jungles, colossal crocodiles prowled the rivers, and some of the most bizarre animals fought for the right to survive. One of the most amazing creatures that lived in Madagascar was Adelatherium hui. The creature belongs to an extinct group of mammals known as Gondwanatherians. The oldest and only nearly complete skeleton of this mammal has puzzled scientists with its mismatched body, strange skull holes, and teeth that look like they're from outer space. These weirdos lived alongside the dinosaurs on the southern supercontinent of Gondwana. They're known from a smattering of teeth and bone fragments, a single skull, and a remarkable skeleton of an animal whose discoverers have dubbed the Crazy Beast. The fossil of Adelatherium hui is from northwestern Madagascar and dates back 66 million years to the end of the Cretaceous period. Adelatherium hui probably looked a bit like a badger but it was like no mammal alive today. Most early mammals had sprawled out legs, a bit like those of today's crocodiles. Adalatherium hui's back legs were sprawled out too, but its front legs were aligned under its body, like a cat's or a dog's. Although the known fossil is estimated to be a sub-adult individual, it had a large skull reaching a length of 8.4 centimeters, or 3.3 inches a body length of about 52 centimeters or 20 inches, and a body mass estimate between 2 to 5 kilograms, or 4.4 to 11 pounds. This makes it one of the largest known Mesozoic mammals, only exceeded by fellow Malagasy Gondwanatherae Vintana, Repinomammus, and Patagomaya. The skull of Adelatherium hui was weirdly pockmarked with holes. Some of these were clearly openings to allow nerves and blood vessels to pass to the snout, the number of these holes was indicative of a very sensitive snout. The animal's strong claws suggest it was a digger, so perhaps these nerves detected rich sensations in dark underground burrows. Rosanna What has a head like a crocodile, sports teeth like a T-Rex, and is the oldest of its kind? A mysterious Jurassic predator from Madagascar. Meet a meters-long crocodile-like monster, called Razanandrongobi Sakalave, or simply Razana, that lived more than 163 million years ago. Deep and massive jawbones, armed with enormous serrated teeth that are similar in size and shape to those of a T-Rex, strongly suggest that these animals fed also on hard tissue, such as bone and tendon. Razana had a body shape similar to Barosukidae, producing an overall length of 7 meters or 23 feet, a height at the hip of 1.6 meters or 5 foot 3 inches, and a weight of 800 to 1,000 kilograms, that's 1,800 to 2,200 pounds. A combination of anatomical features clearly identifies this taxon as a Jurassic Notosuchian, closely related to the South American Borosuchids and Sebacids. These ancient crocodiliforms were highly specialized terrestrial predators, distinct from modern crocodiles due to their deep skulls and powerful, erect limbs. Like these and other massive crocodiles from the Cretaceous, Rosanna could outcompete theropod dinosaurs, dominating the top of the food chain. Little is known about the origins and early evolution of Notosuchians. However, their status as the sister group of Neosuchia, which includes all living crocodilians, within Mesoeucrocodilia suggests they must have first appeared during the Jurassic. Before Razanandrongobi was identified as a Notosuchian, the oldest known members were from the Apchian stage of the Cretaceous, including Anatosuchus, Candididon, Malawasuchus, and Uruguaysuchus. This left a 74 million year ghost lineage between the presumed origin of Notosuchians and their earliest known representatives. Razanandrongobi Sakalave is the oldest and possibly the largest known representative of the Notosuchia, marking one of the earliest significant increases in body size in the group's evolutionary history. Its geographic location during the period when Madagascar was separated from other landmasses 
strongly suggests it was part of an endemic lineage. Additionally, it provides further evidence that the Notasukia originated in southern Gondwana. Matsoya Matsoya is an extinct genus of Matsoyid snake that lived in South America, India, and Madagascar around 72 to 34 million years ago, from the Maastrichtian stage of the Late Cretaceous period to the Late Eocene period. The species depicted on prehistoric planet is Matsoya madagascariensis from the Mavarano Formation in Madagascar. It resembles a modern-day python, though it is unrelated to them. The species was 5.1 to 8 meters or 17 to 26 feet long and weighed around 50 kilograms or 110 pounds. Matsoya, like other Matsoids, is believed to have suffocated its prey by wrapping around it with tight coils similar to modern constrictor snakes. After consuming a sufficiently large meal, Matsoya, like other snakes, would not need to eat again for a long time. Matsoids can be differentiated from extant constrictors by their more primitive jaws, which cannot unhinge to the same extent as modern-day boas and pythons. Hence, small dinosaurs like Masiakosaurus would have been the largest prey that Matsoya can tackle. The Mavorano Formation is known as an alluvian plain, where river discharge fluctuated. The area likely had reddish soil and floodplains that supported vegetation in a relatively dry climate. The region, which was sometimes semi-arid and sometimes experienced strong dry and wet seasons, was eventually overtaken by rising sea levels that pushed the shoreline back. This change may or may not have been caused by the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event, which wiped down three quarters of life on Earth. Despite this catastrophe, Matsoya survived and continued to exist for another 32 million years. Masiakosaurus nobflari Masiakosaurus is a dentally bizarre theropod dinosaur from Madagascar that lived during the late Cretaceous, about 70.7 .7 to 65.5 million years ago. It was a small predator adapted to catching quick, agile prey. Scientists have a fairly complete understanding of this dinosaur's appearance, since more than 50% of a complete specimen has been found. Masiakosaurus grew to about 2 meters, 6.6 .6 feet in length, and weighed around 20 kilograms or 44 pounds on average. It was a bipedal dinosaur, meaning its forelimbs were shorter than its hind limbs. It had a relatively narrow neck, which differed from other theropod dinosaurs. While most theropods had S-shaped necks, Masiakosaurus had a stiff, horizontally positioned neck with only a slight curve. One of the most notable features of this dinosaur is its uniquely shaped teeth. Unlike other theropods whose front teeth project straight downward, Masiakosaurus had teeth that projected forward and outward, indicating a specialized diet. Based on the distinctive dental structure of its teeth, experts believe their diet consisted mainly of fish and other small, quick prey. They might have also eaten small invertebrates or even fruits. However, their back teeth were similar to those of other theropods, functioning to cut and slice through prey's flesh. They coexisted with relatively small dinosaurs like Rahanavis and herbivores, such as Rapetosaurus. Despite the presence of few predators, these dinosaurs, being carnivores, likely competed for food and other resources to thrive in their habitat. Scientists speculate that Majungasaurus, a large abelisaurid dinosaur also living in Madagascar during the same period, may have preyed on Masiakosaurus. This is based on puncture marks found in one fossil. However, this may have been from scavengers or even disease. Majungasaurus Majungasaurus is a genus of abelisaurid theropod dinosaur that lived in Madagascar from 70 to 66 million years ago, at the end of the Cretaceous period, making it one of the last known non-avian dinosaurs that went extinct during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. Like other abelisaurids, Majungasaurus was a bipedal predator characterized by a short snout. Although its forelimbs are not entirely known, they were very short, whereas the hind limbs were longer and quite stocky. Majungasaurus can be distinguished from other abelisaurids by its wider skull, the rough texture and thickened bone on the top of its snout, and a single rounded horn on the roof of its skull, which was initially mistaken for the dome of a pachycephalosaur. Majungasaurus was a medium-sized theropod, 
typically reaching 5.6 to 7 meters or 18 to 23 feet in length and weighing between 750 to 1,100 kilograms or 1,650 to 2,430 pounds. Fragmentary remains of larger individuals suggest that some adults could have been similar in size to its relative Carnotaurus, possibly exceeding 8 meters, 26 feet in length. Avalosaurids, particularly Majungasaurus, may have been adapted to a feeding strategy similar to that of modern felids, characterized by short, broad snouts and a bite-and-hold technique to subdue prey. Majungasaurus had an especially broad snout compared to other Avalosaurids, and other anatomical features further support the bite-and-hold hypothesis. Majungasaurus was the largest predator in its environment, with the only known herbivores at the time being sauropods like Repetosaurus. Scientists suggest that Majungasaurus, along with other Avalosaurids, specialized in hunting sauropods. Fossils of Majungasaurus have been found with tooth marks that match the teeth of other Majungasaurus individuals. These marks are found on bones and show signs of being gnawed and bitten after death. The tool marks have been identified on various bones, including those of the limbs, ribs, and vertebrae, indicating that cannibalism involved different parts of the body. It is unclear whether the cannibalism resulted from actively hunting and killing conspecifics or from scavenging on individuals that were already dead. Both scenarios are plausible, based on the available evidence. Beelzebufo Ampinga This frog, named Beelzebufo Ampinga, may be the largest frog that ever lived. These amphibians grew to 16 inches or 41 centimeters in length and weighed about 10 pounds or 4.5 kilograms. They inhabited the island of Madagascar during the late Cretaceous, about 70 to 65 million years ago. The bite force of Beelzebufo, with a mouth size approximately 15.4 centimeters or 6 inches wide, was found to be up to 2200 newtons. Humans, in case you're wondering, can inflict a bite force of something like 1300 newtons with our strongest teeth, the second molars. But we're… uh, slightly bigger. This force is comparable to that of a snapping turtle with a similarly sized head and is more than enough to fracture a human finger, making it an animal you definitely would not want to pet. At this bite force, Beelzebufo would have been capable of subduing small and juvenile dinosaurs that shared Madagascar with it. Beelzebufo's predatory behavior was likely similar to that of modern giant frogs, such as bullfrogs. These aggressive ambush predators leap at their prey and eat anything that fits in their mouths. This large frog might have had sharp spikes and a semi-hard turtle-like shell on its head and back. These features likely evolved to protect it from being swallowed by predators, but they might also have been attractive to females during mating season. Beelzebufo looked similar to and might be related to horned frogs, genus Ceratophores, that live in South America today. This similarity could provide clues about when the Gondwana supercontinent started to break up at the end of the Mesozoic era. Almost all frogs are considered toxic, since they secrete mucus from their body to keep themselves moist, which likely includes Beelzebufo. Since Beelzebufo is now extinct, it is nearly impossible to know the level of toxins their body produced, as some modern frogs are only mildly toxic, while others secrete bufotoxin that is much more potent. Repetosaurus In the late Cretaceous period, the majestic Repetosaurus roamed the ancient landscapes of Madagascar. This remarkable sauropod was named after a mythical giant from Malagasy folklore. Taxonomically, this giant herbivore is classified within the Sauropoda, a group known for their enormous size and long necks. As a member of the Titanosauria, it was likely one of the largest among the giants, reaching the length of 15 meters or 49 feet. Repetosaurus lived during the Maastrichtian epoch of the late Cretaceous period, roughly 72.1 to 66 million years ago. This period signifies a crucial era in Earth's history occurring just before the mass extinction event that ended the dominance of non-avian dinosaurs. The fossils of Repetosaurus include parts of the skull, vertebrae, and limbs, allowing paleontologists to reconstruct a detailed picture of its physical appearance. 
These remains have been crucial in understanding the evolutionary trajectory of sauropods in Gondwana during the late Cretaceous. Rapetosaurus had a long neck and a slender tail, similar to sauropods, and its head was like that of a diplodocid with a long, narrow snout. Adapted for eating plants, it had small teeth for stripping leaves but not for chewing, and its body structure resembled that of an elephant, strong and sturdy. While it's unlikely that Majungasaurus regularly hunted the colossal Rapetosaurus, the mere presence of this predator added a layer of tension to the ecosystem, especially for the younger, more vulnerable sauropods. The interactions between Masiakosaurus and Rapetosaurus were probably limited, but Masiakosaurus's scavenging nature might have indirectly benefited Rapetosaurus, keeping the environment clean and perhaps reducing the spread of disease. Though significantly smaller than Rapetosaurus, Rahanavis, a raptor-like dinosaur with bird-like qualities, played a crucial role in this Cretaceous ecosystem. Its ability to possibly snatch smaller creatures or scavenge alongside Masiakosaurus added another layer to the complex web of life that Rapetosaurus navigated daily. The interactions among these diverse species painted a vivid picture of life in ancient Madagascar, with Rapetosaurus maintaining its role as a gentle giant amidst a world of varied and fascinating contemporaries. Simosuchus Simosuchus, meaning pug-nosed crocodile in Greek, is an extinct genus of Notosuchian crocodiliomorphs from the late Cretaceous of Madagascar. It is named for its unusually short skull. Fully grown individuals were about 0.75 meters, or 2.5 feet in length. The type species is Simosuchus clarki, found from the Mevorano formation in Mahajanga province of Madagascar. The teeth of Simosuchus clarki were shaped like cloves, which, coupled with its short and deep snout, suggested it was not a carnivore like most other crocodiliomorphs. In fact, these features have led many paleontologists to consider it a herbivore. Why did Simosuchus eat plants? Well, evolution has a way of adapting creatures to a local ecosystem's competitive standards, and it's possible that other Larger crocodiles were so efficient at hunting fish and scavenging for carrion that Simosuchus was forced to evolve in a vegetarian direction. Similar to its crocodiliform relatives, Simosuchus boasted a protective armor of bony plates known as osteoderms. These plates formed shields along its back, underside, and tail. Unlike most crocodiliforms, Simosuchus sported osteoderms extending over a significant portion of its limbs. While the osteoderms on the back, tail, and limbs were lightweight and porous, those on the belly took on a more plate-like structure.